and stay in that full 10 minutes. Try and stay, okay? I said try. I can go ahead and start my timer. All right, you guys, we're just gonna start with some twists. So making sure you're lifting up, tapping off that toe. We don't wanna leave one foot down. We wanna make sure we have one foot up. And what I want you to do here is pull that core in super tight so that you can feel it twist through your core. And if you're doing it right, it should be burning from your abs that you did yesterday. Good, nice and controlled. Let it twist all the way. Beautiful. Your arms are just there to kind of guide you in your twists. How are we feeling today? It was frosty this morning. I'm not ready for frost. Oh, I feel like snow is coming sooner than we expect. Three, two, one, relax, beautiful. We're just gonna push our pelvis all the way forward. Nice, big, big, big push. And then we're gonna fall all the way to the ground. Relax, nice and control, bring it up. Tilt forward, nice, big push. Good, fall all the way down to the ground. Keep it moving here. We don't wanna hold the stretch for too, too long as we want to warm everything up. We don't want to cool it down. Nice, big, relax. Good, bring it up, push. And fold it forward. Good, let's do two more. Bring it up, push. Really think about stretching all the way up through those abs. Drop it down, relax. Good, one more here. Nice big push forward. And relax it down to the ground. Shake it out, you guys. That is it. That is our warm up. We are gonna get started right away. We're just gonna start with a basic crunch just to warm it up. We're gonna go into some Russian twists. So, on your back, your feet, your heels are gonna be right underneath your knees. Hands can go behind your head. Do not pull on your head. They're just there to support. We're gonna find something to stare at at the ceiling. We're gonna lift it all the way up. Squeeze that core as tight as you can and relax all the way down. All the way up, squeeze super tight and relax all the way down. So when you get to the top, it's not quick. We really wanna think about holding it, engaging the abs, the core all the way from the top to the bottom, pull it up and then we're gonna relax. Up, squeeze and relax. Beautiful, let's go. Remember not to pull on your neck. Your hands are just there to support it a little bit. Just so that your neck's not hanging around. Good, up, pull. Drop a lease. Let's go for three more, all the way up. Squeeze, nice and tight. Pull it all in. Relax, two more, up, squeeze. Relax, last one here, all the way up, we're gonna hold. So what I want you to do is, pull, again, pull that belly button up super, super tight. When you touch your stomach, you should feel your core muscles engage. It should be tight, it should be burning. If you notice you have a gap between the floor and your back, you need to pull your core in tighter. Tight, tight, tight. About 10 more seconds here, hold it. It should be burning, it should be on fire. Breathe. Three, two, one, relax. Beautiful. We're gonna sit it on up. We're gonna go in to a Russian twist. So feet are gonna go on the floor, chest is up, shoulders are back. We're just gonna tap the floor. You're gonna twist, you're gonna tap the other side. Again, I don't want it fast. I want it slow and I want it controlled. What you're gonna do if you find sitting up is too easy, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna lean it back a little bit extra. And if it's still too easy, you're gonna lean it back a little bit extra. Very nice. Nice and controlled, slow. We do not want to go fast when we are working abs, okay? Slow and controlled, and it's gonna burn even more than if you were to go super, super fast. Good, 15 seconds. We're here for a little bit longer than normal that you would expect. Oh, breathe. 
Can we lean it back a little bit more for the last five? Three, two, one. Beautiful. We're going to go right back down to the floor. We're not going to take huge breaks just because we are going a little bit slower and controlled. Pull up, squeeze, drop down, release. Up, squeeze, drop it down. Whoo! Feel the fire yet? Yep, 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 yep. Good. Remember to breathe. Nice deep breath in on the way down. Breathe out. Hold it. Release. Breathe out. Nice deep breath in on the way down. Breathe out. Hold. Beautiful. They're slow. They are basic, but they are oh so effective. All you need is a basic crunch. We don't need to do crazy other ab exercises. If you wanted to try and like add more core stuff in, more ab stuff, just doing a basic crunch is amazing. Good, let's go one more all the way up, hold. Again, hold that belly button in nice and tight. There's no gap between your back and the floor. It is tight, it is burning. Good. Remember, hands are just supporting. If you notice yourself pulling on your neck because it's getting hard, relax. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Beautiful. Bring it on up. Whew. Feet. Nice and slow and controlled twists. Drop. Drop. Very nice. Focus. Control it. Good. Think about twisting your entire core over. That is what's doing the work. Try not to think about your arms moving. Try and think about that core moving. Good. Very nice. Keep it going. 10 more seconds. Let it burn. Oh. Good. Let's lean it back a little bit farther. Yes, you can. Chest is up. Don't be hunching here. We're up nice and high, and then we lean back. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Let's go for one more round here. Drop it all the way down. Feet are on the floor. Breathe out. Squeeze. Woo. If it's not burning by this round, what the heck are you doing? Good. Keep breathing. Try not to hold your breath. I know when it gets really, really painful, you want to hold your breath, push through it, breathe. Try and get into your breaths and out of the pain. Good. If you can learn how to breathe every single painful thing you go through in life, breathing is going to be the thing that gets you through. Nice deep breaths. Always in through your nose, out through your mouth, whenever you're going through a painful situation. Maybe you have anxiety, maybe just something's bugging you. Breathing and just letting yourself calm down, relax, is probably the best thing you can do for yourself. So focus on your breathing and then when you go through a painful situation, you're just automatically going to breathe. It's just going to be a habit. Good. We're going to go up and hold here. This one, up, hold, squeeze it nice and tight. I'm going to get you to bring your arms forward. Good. If it hurts your neck, you can by all means put your hands back. But what I want you to think about doing is reaching your hands to your feet. Pull it in nice and tight. That belly button should be tight. It should be in. It should be up. Good. Three, two, one. One, relax. Bring it up. Last one here, okay? Chest up, shoulders back. Let's twist. Good. All through that core, nothing else. What I want you to do in this round is to think about not having your knees apart. You're going to squeeze them together. You're going to squeeze your feet together as tight as you can, and then you're going to lean back, and you're going to focus on squeezing your knees together. Good. This is going to be for all you moms that have had kids. 
squeeze your knees together. It's gonna to keep from the bottom all the way to the top nice and tight. This is something that you should start practicing and doing these Russian twists while focusing on squeezing your knees together. It's gonna to keep everything nice and tight and secure. Good. Keep that chest up. 15 more seconds, controlled. Lean back a little bit more, chest is up. Do not lean back, fold forward. Three, two, one, relax. Whew, that was another 10 minutes, you guys. I went by really quick. Let's stay down. We're gonna stretch down. I'm gonna get you to lay down flat, hands above your head, legs flat on the floor. Whew, good. We're gonna reach in, you're gonna pull those knees in nice and tight. And then I'm just gonna get you to rock from side to side. You may notice that your low back is a little bit sore. That is normal, especially if your core is weak. You will often feel it in your lower back. And that just means we need to keep working on those core muscles and even those lower back muscles. Good, you're gonna drop that left leg down to the floor. You're gonna take left arm over onto the right knee. You're gonna pull it over and across. We're gonna have a nice big twist here. You should feel it maybe through your obliques, maybe through your glutes, maybe through your back. It'll depend on where you are tight. I feel this in my obliques. They are tight today. My not sleeping last night messed up my recovery, so I'm definitely a little bit sore today than normal. That tells you how important sleep is for recovery. Good, let's bring it back to center. We're gonna do the same thing, other side. So right leg is gonna go down, left leg is gonna come up, right arm on top of left knee. Pull it over, a nice big twist. Again, depending on how flexible you are, you may not be able to get all the way down to the ground. That is okay, just hold wherever it is comfortable for you. Good, breathe through it. By Friday, you guys, my abs are gonna be crying, crying. Good, let's roll it back to center, pull it on up. That is it, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me again. It's fun doing it with all of you. For those of you that are in my group, I will see you in 15 minutes for our booty burn.